Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, we are going to be working on the chubby witches for our, what is this? Seventh, I think the seventh Witchtober video. Uh, so the Witchtober series is a series of videos where I am coloring witches. Each one is focused on a different, or inspired by a different color palette uh, that I've put together and have shared on Instagram and here on my community page on YouTube. If you're interested and want to join along, that's going through the month of October. Um, and actually, if you, I don't know, if you decide that you want to color a witch later on and you want to use one of my inspiration boards, just tag me so I can see. Anyway, so today we're coloring in Chubby Witches by Deborah Muller. Uh, this is a new to me book and I think it's so cute. Uh, this is the page we're going to work on today and today's color palette is pastel. So I am going to put up the color palette here for you guys to look at just so you can kind of get a before shot of what we're working with here. I think this is going to be a fun one. Uh, I'm going to kind of do the same thing I've been doing. I'm going to go ahead and do my alcohol marker work. We're also going to do a chalk pastel background. So I am going to do that. Um, Actually, I'm going to do that first, and then we'll go through and do the alcohol markers. So let me get those supplies ready, and we'll get started. Okay, so I have, I'm using the chalk pastels from Mungu. So these are the, this is what the box looks like here. It's a super value brand on um, that I get on Amazon. Um, and I love using these chalk pastels for backgrounds. They're so quick and easy. Uh, and then I use just a cotton pad. Uh, this is just... I don't even know. It's just like a you'd find next to the cotton balls or um, in your makeup section or health and beauty aid section or whatever. So I take it and I fold it in half and I fold it again. And then I have like a nice little tip here that I'm going to use. And I've got several colors. So we're just going to do just a fun kind of um, pastel -y background. So I'm going to start with yellow. And I know that yellow is not one of the main colors in the like the color palette that I put up, but um, I want to have a little bit of yellow in here. So I'm going to do a little bit of yellow just around her. She's going to have just a tiny bit of a glow, tiny bit. And I do, I can come back through and um, erase wherever I happen to get like over, if I overlap anything on her, anywhere where I don't want color, I can erase it with um, my electric eraser pretty quickly, pretty easily um, since it's chalk pastels. Um, okay, so now we're going to start with the pink. And I'm going to do lots of pink up this way. This is going to be a pretty um, abstract, messy background. Okay, and then uh, let's do... I do a little bit of this like pinkish purple color. And again, I'm just going right over the edge of the um, the line art because it's I'm it's fine. I'm just going to I'm going to be using my eraser to get rid of things anyway. So, okay. So, I'm gonna flip this around, get some of this blue in here. Okay, a little bit of a darker blue. And a little bit of purple. All right, let me look at this a little bit, see what we like and don't like. I'm gonna add a little bit more pink to some of the areas. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna go through and erase everywhere where I don't want pastel really quick. I just use a Derwent electric eraser to do this um, really quick and simple. I just go through, erase a little bit where I've gone over the line art. And then I use a makeup brush and brush away the dust and that's it. So I'm just gonna go through and clean up my image and I will be right back with you. All right, there we go. So she's all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and start my marker work. I've got a couple of different um, 
pastel kind of colors. I've got a mix of Copic and um, uh, Ohuhu markers that I'm using, but you could probably find most of these in your... The A really good set is the Ohuhu pastel set. I love that set. Um, but I have a couple colors that are out, so I decided to go with this one. Anyway, I'm going to get started. We're just going to go ahead and start uh, coloring her in, and I um, will be back with you guys here in a second. Here we're, is where we are with the alcohol marker added in, and I'm um, going to get started on some shading. So I'm going to start with her skin like I normally do. Just going to go through with a few different pinks and peaches and purples and shade that in. I will speed some of that up for you guys to see. Uh, I will zoom you in too so you can see that a little closer up, but I will um, go ahead and do that, and I'll talk to you again here in a second.
Okay, so here is where we are after the majority, well, all of the pencil shading is done. So now we're just gonna add some of the fun embellishments. I've got some gel pens that I'm gonna be using, a little bit more of my white Posca, and we're gonna do this fire, magical fire stuff. I'm just gonna do that in, I think, uh, we'll do pinks, kind of like the hat up here. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of colors for that, and we'll get started on that. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of color in certain areas. I'm not going to color the whole thing in and use my, uh, white Prismacolor to kind of create, make it look like it's more, um, blended and stuff with the pinks that I've got here. So I'm using a hot pink and the deco pink to blend those out. So there's those two, and then I'll show you kind of when you come in with the white, that really makes it blend super well. And then I'm just gonna outline those in white too. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so there is the whited out. I'm gonna add just a little bit more color back in. So once, even after you blend it with the um, the white, you can still come in and add a little bit more color. And while I like just the pink, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of something else. So maybe let's grab, I'm gonna grab this blue violet lake and see what that does. And that'll be really light, like a lot lighter than it would normally be since I already have that white down. But I think that gives a little bit added uh, something to the fire. So to the magical fire. Okay, we're just going to go with that. Blend that out a little bit more right here. Okay, so yeah, so the other flames over there are going to be the same. Um, but then the the little diamonds, I'm gonna do the same as I did her nails. So I had five colors, I think. Let me grab those. Okay, and then I'm just going to go through and color in these diamonds with just flat color with the Prismas. Um, they work really well. That You get a nice coverage with these. So I don't need to use like markers or anything for this part. Um, but I'm just going to go through and um, do the rest of these little diamonds. And then I will also go through and do the, um, the rest of the flames. So I will come back and talk to you guys again here in a second. Okay, so there's all the cute little doodads colored in. I don't even know what those are. What are they, stars maybe, I guess? Okay, that works, sure. Uh, I'm going to use a couple of... Uh, gel pens here, um, some silver here to do the buckles. Um, on these little hoops, we'll have some silver here. Then I'm going to use these other three. So these are all um, uh, Sakura Tiara um, gel pens. And I'm just going to kind of trace some of the little bits and pieces here. So this one's going to be all pink. We'll have this one be purple over here. Okay, and then this one over here is going to be blues. I also need to color in her little tattoos, and those are going to be sparkly too. They're going to kind of look like stickers, I guess, but they're not really stickers. Okay, two more things I want to do. I want to add some um, dots around in the background um, just for some added interest. Um, they're going to be kind of grouped around these little starbursts. Uh, and I'll do a few that are larger and a few that are smaller. I'm going to try not to smear. <laughs> that. So yeah, so I'm going to do a few, like I said, grouped around these starbursts. 
Um, and then that'll be just kind of another little additional fun thing that's on the page. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna do a little bit of stickles on the little flames here. The magical, fiery, whatever these are. They're not really flames. I'm just gonna say that they're like magic in visual form. <laughs> All right, and here is our completed page. I really like the way that she turned out. I know this was um, a little bit of a late video, but I'm happy to have her done. So I'm gonna kind of hold her up close so you can kind of see a few of the details here. She turned out really cute. She's got lots of glitter and sparkles. Well, not lots, but some. <laughs> Enough to make my little uh, sparkly heart happy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's it for today. This one was really fun. I, oh, I will put the um, color palette back on screen so you can see the comparison between the two and kind of where I got my colors from. Um, and then next video will be the Autumn Witch. I'm very excited for that one. Definitely expect lots of oranges and browns and beautiful fall colors. So, yes, that one will be the next one. And... I think that's it. So thanks so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.